Hey there, welcome back. Well, today I'm really excited because Sonoff has finally launched some dimming devices. Now we've got a Zigbee version here and we've got a Matter version. So let's take a look. Having a look at the Zigbee version for $26.90, do bear in mind that these devices are only designed to operate on 220 to 240 volts. These are rateable at 200 VA for dimmable LEDs, 400 watts for incandescents, 400 watts for halogens, and 200 watts for dimmable electronic transformers. Automatic brightness calibration means that you won't have flickering problems. Another great feature about these devices is that it offers the opportunity to connect two individual switches. Wiring for the device is pretty simple. Our live goes directly to the live terminal. The neutral goes to the neutral terminal. And then we connect our switches between L, S1 and S2. And our light is connected to the zero and back to the neutral. Always be sure to get a certified person to do the wiring unless you're capable of this. Having a look at our device, we have our pairing button and our LED for statuses. We then have three lives, a neutral, a zero, and an S1 and an S2. I thought it possibly could have been nice to have two lives and two neutrals for ease of wiring. When connecting the device up to Zigbee to MQTT, make sure that you've upgraded to the latest version, otherwise it will not be supported. So if we click into the device, you can see here that it is fully supportive and it's exposing lots of entities. We have our on off for state control. We have our brightness with these pre-configured levels, or we've got full degree of range over here between zero and 254. We have our power on behavior. As you can see, we can currently see our current voltage and power consumption. We've also got a delayed power on state if we want, and we can actually adjust the time of that state. We've also got inching, uh, inching control, and we've got inching time available as well. Um, we've got the external trigger mode, which is selecting between your different types of switches, and we can also kick off our automatic calibration from here, which worked really smoothly. So first of all, what I'm going to do is set my calibration process. So what we can do over here, we can adjust the minimum brightness level of the lamp. So I'm going to set this down as low as possible. So I'm going to set that to 1%. Then we can set our transition time. So I'm going to say 0.5 of a second for transition. And I'm going to set the dimming rate to 1%. So now we can press the start button and it will start the process. The bulb will now start flickering and then it will slowly reduce the brightness right down to 0%. And then it's pretty much finished calibrating after about two minutes. So now that we've calibrated the dimming, you'll see that we're getting a really nice smooth dimming. So if we go from 2% up to about 50% and then up to full, we can see that we've got a really nice dimming range over here. I'm super impressed with this bulb. I really do like the Zigbee to MQTT giving us this level of granularity that we can control all these attributes of the device directly via Zigbee to MQTT. The inching control allows you to turn the light automatically off after a certain period of time. So for example, if we enable the inching mode and we set a time period, then once we've turned the bulb on, if it's on the on position, it will then turn it off after a certain amount of time. We can also change this to the off position. So if we turned the bulb off after a certain amount of time, it would turn it back on. Now I'm running my Zigbee to MQTT separately. I'm running it on the new SM Hub Nano. And you can see here that I'm pulling through via MQTT. So we've got the power over here and then we've got control. So we've got delayed power on state. We've got, of course, our dimming controls over here. And down here, we've got all of the other options that we can control from within Home Assistant. Next, I wanted to connect it up via ZHA to see what the different entities were that were brought through via ZHA. There we go, it's configuring. We can select an area over here 
and then we can go and have our look at our dimmer within a Zigbee. So having a look at our dimmer within Zigbee, we have control over the dimming, the on and off ability, and we have the startup ability. Unfortunately, the sensors for the power monitoring don't seem to pull in via ZHA. Hopefully this will be updated soon in the ZHA software. Next, I decided to set up the Matter version of the dimmer. So I went along to Home Assistant on my iPhone, selected Devices and Services, Add Integration, select Matter, select that it's a new device, scan the QR code, add to Home Assistant. Once I opened it up within Home Assistant, I was able to turn the bulb on and off. I was also able to adjust the dimming of the bulb. The only other setting that I had was the power on behavior. I couldn't seem to find any power monitoring. Now I also had the device connected directly to the eWeLink app. And if we go into the settings over here, you can see that it is pulling power consumption through to the device here, but it seems like Home Assistant integration with Matter is not yet pulling these through. So we can go into settings here. As you can see, we've got all of the additional settings available within the Matter connection directly to the EWI link. So it'll be interesting to see as things develop how more and more of these are being pulled through to Home Assistant.